I'm really pleased to be joined on Not the Andrew Marr Show by Chris Jury of the Toll Puddle Radical Film Festival, which has been hitting the headlines uh, with a story yeah. of a film that we all know uh, on this show, uh, Oh Jeremy Corbyn, The Big Lie. Um, but Chris, the the, uh, the the Toll Puddle Radical Film Festival, um, what's happened with the screening of The Big Lie there? So um, the Toll Puddle Radical Film Festival puts a program together every year. And, and to put the most important thing to say to set this in context is that the Toll Puddle Radical Film Festival is self-funding and we're not uh, controlled by or funded by the Toll Puddle Martyrs Festival. So the Martyrs Festival books all the acts in the main tent and uh, uh, and that type of thing. But the the Toll Puddle Radical Film Festival um, is self financing and self managed. So really, all the Martyrs Festival do is give us a, a slot, a place to park the van on the site because we show all our films in the vintage mobile cinema and, uh, uh, and some electricity, but we do everything else. So this year I was asked for the program uh, so that the, it could be added to the main toll puddle program, which was going to go online. And I sent it in the program. And three days later, I got an email saying, uh, this all looks good, but uh, you can't show the film, oh, Jeremy Corbyn, uh, The Big Lie. So we were a bit surprised because last year we'd shown the half hour teaser version of the film in the festival and there'd been no comment or discussion or anything. Right. Um, so we wrote back and, and, the, and the way it was worded uh, it wasn't clear. So we wrote back and we said, well, oh, that's a bit of a surprise because we played the, we showed some of it last year and, you know, blah, blah, blah. And uh, can you just be clear what you're saying here? Are you saying that? Um, uh, uh, anyway, the upshot was we then got a letter back saying no, unequivocally, in no circumstances. Uh, can you show the film on the site? So in the original letter said that the big lie is a, is, is a well-known Nazi trope. Said by Hitler, the phrase, the big lie, was a well-known Nazi trope. Uh, and there was a link to a Wikipedia page uh, to that effect. Uh, and it also said that um, the film uh, contained interviews with various people who had been expelled from the Labour Party for anti-Semitism and the film would be offensive to Jewish people coming to Toll Puddle. I mean, I pointed out that most of the people in the film who have been expelled for being anti-Semitic are in fact Jewish, uh, but that didn't seem to uh, carry any weight. So... We then did have a, a conversation with the new secretary of Southwest TUC because South, the Toll Puddle Festival is sort of backed funding wise uh, and managed by Southwest TUC. Um, but it was clear we weren't going to be able to show the film. So Ruben and I decided that we weren't prepared to run the festival. Uh, or to fundraise for the festival and all the rest of it, when an outside body, the Toll Puddle Martyrs Festival, were now telling us what films we could and could not screen in the festival. Mm. So we then withdrew from the festival. And mm. then it became clear, you know, that week when we withdrew from email responses and everything, that we should try to set up a screening of the film. So uh, I then rang and booked the village hall 
on the Saturday afternoon because there's a at Tolpuddle, there's the Tolpuddle Radical History School, which runs on the Thursday, Friday and uh, Saturday morning. But that finishes at one o'clock on a Saturday in the Village Hall. And I knew that. So I uh, went on their website and bought the Village Hall. And then we started to, there was a move, because I have to be clear that uh, many of the membership of S Southwest TUC, the unions that are members, did not at all approve of this. This was not something that was discussed and democratically decided. And so we didn't immediately announce the thing because the, there was a Southwest TUC uh, biannual meeting uh, that was happening. And uh, so we waited until that weekend. Then the, then the decision was delayed until an executive committee meeting. And then uh, we're told it was put on the, the last item on the agenda, that old trick. Right. <laughs> but, you know, the most contentious issue is put on the last uh, on the uh, agenda of the meeting, and so it couldn't be resolved because there wasn't enough time. Uh -huh. And so then we were left with the yeah, well, well, there'll have to be another executive meeting. So at that point, we realized that this could go on all the time. There was no point us hoping that this decision, because the, the, the people who were trying to get this were trying to get the decision reversed. They were trying to get Southwest TUC to re-invite us back and say we could show the film. Right. But, you know, that would have been very difficult for the T, you know, for the Southwest, that would have put TUC in a very difficult situation. And so um, we decided to go ahead and announce the Village Hall, at which point the Village Hall cancelled the booking. That old, that old chestnut. So this is happening with this film quite a bit over the country that people set up screenings and then someone gets at the venue and then the venue cancel. So we push back and then there was some, some members of the Southwest TUC exec intervened. And a week later, we then got two hours of our four hour booking back so that we could launch the screen so we could do a screening so we are now doing the screening on the saturday afternoon at two o'clock uh, the hall holds 65 all those seats have gone it's a free screening uh, and all those seats have gone so we are going to screen the film in defiance of this censorship wow. my understanding of the situation is that this wasn't a decision, um, as I've described, it wasn't a decision of Southwest TUC as a corporate body. Um, and it might be that this actually came from the TUC in London. But that's all supposition really, because no one, what we know last year, Loki had been invited to play in the main tent Mm. And Gary Smith of the GMB uh, created a campaign to have that cancelled and the gig was cancelled. So we don't know, no one has, uh, you know, taken responsibility for this particular censorship. Uh, but I'm fairly sure it wasn't, it didn't originate in Southwest TUC. Um, but the issue of anti Semitism and the accusation of anti Semitism, which of course is what the film's partly about, um, uh, is of course indicates that this, the censorship is actually coming from uh, the Starmeroids or a Starmeroid within the TUC who is seeking to close down, you know, Truth. <laughs> Starmer's, Starmer's new, new Labour have decided that the Corbyn 
thing never happened. We're never going to talk about it again. Uh, and it's all got to be stopped because we've now all got to unite around the new leader. Um, for me, those calls to unity after what was done to Corbyn by the Labour Party and his supporters like you and me um, by the Labour Party, uh, that calls for unity have no moral weight whatsoever anymore. With the with the situation with the film um, and Toll Puddle, do you imagine that you'll you'll not be going back to Toll Puddle next year? Will they not let you? Will they not invite you? Do you think that's all finished now? Uh, I don't know. I mean, the first thing I want to say that we've not said yet um, is that this isn't about this particular film, and it isn't about the fact that the film is. Uh, about the Corbyn era. That isn't the issue. The issue is that this is censorship. This is one group of people telling everyone else what films they can and can't see. You know, the point is this is, you know, the, 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 the thing that this is reminiscent of more than anything is Stalinism. You know, it's saying, these things are not sayable and we're not going to allow them to be said. There's nothing in the film that is anti-Semitic. In fact, the film is, there's only about 25%, I would estimate, of the film, which is actually about that issue, the anti-Semitism issue. The rest of it is about the stuff in the Ford report and the Leach report. And it's about, you know, the way the, 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 Labour right, the dirty way the Labour right fought that campaign. Um, and, and, but that's not the issue. The issue is who, who gave these people the authority to suddenly start telling people what films they can and can't see? And that's what's got to be, um, that's what's got to be emphasised. And that's what we, the reason we withdrew is because we're not willing to participate mm. in that process of censorship. A process that says, well, we're going to decide what films you do or do not see and what films you show or don't show to the audience. What about next year? If the TUC want to control the films, then the TUC should pay. If the TUC want it to be part of the Martyrs Festival, because I spend the first four months of every year for the last 10 bloody years begging. We only have to raise three and a half grand, but, you know, I'm making videos and sending stuff out. And, you know, mm. it sort of dominates the spring and early summer for me because I'm having to raise this money. And it takes a lot of effort to do it. So yeah. if I'm doing all of that, uh, we'll choose the films ourselves, thank you very much. So if you want to control the films, then you pay that. You, you do all of that. You pay that. And then we'll see if we can work within that boundary. 